Um, her dad and I approached her and told her that, like, we'll look into this because, like, you know, you want your kids to be healthy and confident. And <laughs> It's even harder to find Well then there must be some magic clue Inside these gentle walls Cause all I see is a tower of dreams Real love bursting out of every scene So guys, it is later right now. It's in the middle of it. I was gonna say it's the middle of the night, but it is what time is it, Charlotte? It's it nine o'clock. Oh, yeah. It's nine o'clock, and Charlotte's about to film, help me film a TikTok because um, Aaron already filmed his part earlier because he was gonna go in the shower, but I liked what he was wearing initially, so I kind of now I'm rambling and my stomach's <laughs> growling. But <laughs> but I liked what he was wearing, so I wanted us to film with what he had on. So we did his part first, though though my part comes first. So now I'm gonna like channel my inner actor actress. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing, but we're going to try to figure this thing out. So I'll bring you guys along. This is the... kind of went okay but it didn't and it clearly wasn't that thought out because I'm using a mug that says Harry Potter as opposed to mom life so we're gonna try it again because my kids got me a mom life mug for Christmas this one to be exact and it would look very good with the ambiance so what was I thinking Papa, it's time to eat. Hey fam, good morning. It is gonna be a busy day today because I actually have a few appointments to run. Um, Gabrielle and I have a laser appointment at midday today. I kinda hate when appointments are set up in the day. I wish they were in the morning. Yeah, I was gonna say or evening, but preferably morning. I prefer them to set me set up in the morning. That way I can just kind of go, come back, and get my day rolling. But they're like, it's just in the middle of the day. Oh, and it's that, the worst part too is also that it's kind of close to rush hour. So that means like by the time I'm out there, by the time our appointments are done, it's like rush hour and traffic is coming in heavy. So I just hope that I don't get caught up in traffic on my way home with um, the little ones. But whatever. I finally made a decision and I got the trip trap chair. When I tell you this chair costed a pretty penny, it really did. But... The decision was made based upon the fact that all the high chairs out there are so expensive. Like the, like, okay, not the basic, basic one, but the mid-range ones are like $300 and their resale value is nothing. So that's why we went with something of a higher quality, something that they will, the kids will have for a long time to come. It's a chair that they can grow into. You use it to sit at the table and you bring it up a notch and all that jazz. I'm not going to go too much into it because it's definitely not an ad, but uh, it seems to be worth it and everyone's had, it has like tons of reviews. It seemed to be the optimal choice. I could have gotten the chair for I think a little over 300, but the these parts and the additives are definitely essential for me because I have a baby. The chair part is just really for toddlers and he is... Um, not there yet and i also had i just bought a, a, the kit that came with a chair that came with the tray as well you're gonna get to eat here sit on your bum and voila Bye. hi Baba. do you like it Bye, you ready to eat hey, stop it you little bug stop it are you ready to eat look here you go you gotta suction your cup your plate there. Hey guys, 
guys so i am back i meant to vlog before i went what are you talking about she's back there doing the pinocchio say it father when can i be in my own <laughs> If you guys haven't seen that Pinocchio trailer, the new Pinocchio, that's what she's talking about. Say hi! Say hey guys! So quiet. Let's get out of here. <laughs> we went to go get laser hair removal on our faces. So like right here on our cheeks and on our on our necks. So we went, yeah, we went for our appointments. I meant to like take you guys with but honestly when I got there it was kind of busy how was how was your appointment it was pretty good <laughs> <laughs> we used so I've had laser hair removal once before and I did it on my face but I don't know if it helped or not but I that was a older system that we used we used like the YAG laser because if you don't know like for dark skin like you really have to be cautious when doing getting laser treatments so there was only like a particular laser or two that could have been used on my skin when I went at the time the YAG laser was one I used used it maybe about seven years back and that's an older type of laser the laser that we used today was different I don't even remember the name but it was a different laser and it it did sting a little bit yeah uh, <laughs> both Gabrielle and I had some like unwanted hairs I get ingrown hairs on my face in a few areas and they've been irritating my skin if you guys have watched been watching the vlogs I don't suffer from like acne or pimples or anything like that a lot of like the marks or the hyperpigmentation that you guys see is solely from like an ingrown hair and anytime I go to retrieve it okay we'll give him some fries um, anytime I go to retrieve it it always leaves like a always leaves like a dark spot aka hyperpigmentation and that's the result of what i'm having to deal with so that's been frustrating and um just having to constantly deal with the ingrown hairs has been an issue for me and then gabrielle had like a few hormonal hairs that were just growing that she didn't like and so we went and took care of it it's pricey my gosh guys it is so so pricey like we're talking like for the two of us over like three bills okay three bills three grand like it's it's laser hair is no joke um but i hope it will all be worth it in the end um gabriella is so funny because she never necessarily asked no. for it but obviously i know it bothers you yeah. like you didn't want it there so um her dad and i approached her and told her that like we'll look into this because like you know you want your kids to be healthy and confident and she's beautiful and this will only like help her to you know be even more confident and not have to feel conscious of that so it's something that's out of your, her control that's something that's out of a lot of girls control and i'm grateful that we're able to do that for her because i know there's lots of kids who are you okay lots of kids who have to struggle with that and can't you know they don't get any help towards it but i also know it's so pricey that a lot of parents probably can't like take it on because it's it's just times are hard i'm giving that to zozo yeah. mama thank you oh, no problem times are hard and it's just a hard look at this kid we yeah, see you we see you here you want to go in your high chair so you can get you can feed yourself yum 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 so anyways we're back from that that's why i put on no makeup before i went because we had to go with like our bare faces um we shaved our faces like from here on down last night that was different that was the first time i ever shaved my face and same with you yeah it was so different it actually looked good but i know shaving is not good like that can cause a lot of like ingrown hairs again <laughs> so um yeah that's why we're choosing an alternate an alternative solution I want to say the laser stung a little bit. The lady kept asking us. She asked me to tell her when I could feel it and it definitely stung. And I, But I wanted to make sure I felt it too because if it was too light, then it may not work. And I'm already paying for six treatments, which is, you know, a ton. So we already got one done today. We're supposed to notice like a 20% change. This is like the biggest change that occurs right away. And then we will see the gradual change over time. But yeah. I felt it. It stung and she put like this cooling stuff on. Did she put it on YouTube? Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Gabrielle's such a baby when it comes to when it comes to like it's like hair hurt. plucking. So I know it's like I came up to the girls and I was like, I hope that girl is doing okay. <laughs> 
Oh gosh, yeah. that's so funny. My mom's like, you can. Mom like did it earlier than me, and then she left. And she's like, you can feel it. So I'm, I'm like, like mm -hmm. okay, this is gonna be interesting. I was and hoping that they would have allowed you to stay in so you could have seen mine, but they sent you out to the other room, the waiting room. Yeah. 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 So. And then I, I felt it, and I was like, wow, this um, this is something. <laughs> this, this hurts. <laughs> Oh my gosh, but we survived and we're here and we have our next appointment booked for the first of April April Fools when the time comes that this is by April Fools Really? It's on April Fools? <laughs> yeah, it's on April Fools. What if they did something else and they like April Fool to the prank and Don't even why I'm would she saying, even say this? That is just scary. <laughs> why would she say that? That would of be all days though. That would be on. so scary. I, I wouldn't be surprised. Gabrielle. <laughs> sorry, I'm sorry. Oh my god. I meant it as a joke. Hey guys, good morning. <laughs> Welcome to another makeup free day for me. Okay, go in here for a second. Okay, I'll turn it on. Okay, 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 okay. I turned off his toy so I could talk to you guys, but he's not having it. There. I'm getting ready to go bring. Gabrielle to her dentist appointment. She's not here yet. She's not out of school yet, but I basically got myself together this morning And so just by the time she gets here I will be ready because I have the little one and I just know how long that takes so oh Yeah, anyways, I am choosing to not wear any makeup on my face just to still give my face a break I know they didn't say this on the form from our laser appointment yesterday But that's what I'm gonna do Oh, anyways, I'm downstairs. I sometimes I change Zabby upstairs. Sometimes I bring him downstairs to change him. So I'm down here. I'm about to get him ready for the day. I don't even know if he was in that. I didn't end up changing him for bed last night because he fell asleep. So he slept in what he had on. But I may have may not have changed that. But he's clean. I'm always bathing him. So when I come home, I'll get right. I'll take care of him like that. But I woke up early this morning. I was trying to get some stuff done while the two little ones were still sleeping. So now I'm down here to change his, his diaper. When I come down in the mornings, I like to strategize myself. I have his toothbrush. I used I was brushing his teeth before he eats, but it makes no sense because I'm gonna have to brush it after. So I have his toothbrushes. I have this little station set up right in the corner over there, where I have his toothbrush and Zoe's toothbrush. So when they come down, when they're down here after they eat, I can brush their teeth real quick. I gotta open up the curtains. As well as I have diapers and the diaper caddy on the side of the play pens so I can change them down here so what I do is come down I get my I go get the water and stuff um, prepared it'll be boiling so by the time I go tend to his diaper and get him fixated in an area then I can put him I can put him in his play pen or in the side um, area there then I come back real quick to the kitchen and make him make him breakfast and I'm usually making Zoe's breakfast um, she was upstairs getting the rest of her clothes on so she'll be down in a minute so when she comes down breakfast is typically ready for them we have croissants so I'm gonna probably just do croissants this morning who doesn't love croissants I love them, but I haven't been eating them because your girl has been on a healthy journey. I've been working out hardcore. Been basically trying to burn about 650 calories a day using my Apple Watch to track everything. And that's been going great, except yesterday I was so tired. I only burned, I think, 500, which isn't bad, but I didn't close my ring. Well, that kind of sucked because I, <laughs> I was on a streak. But anyways, the point is, as I'm doing it, I can see the difference. I'm, I'm at that place where I'm starting to see the difference. I I can see the difference I'm slimming out going downwards which I'm so grateful for however um the scale hasn't changed <laughs> the, the scale hasn't changed it's nothing new though because this is always the thing for me it happens every time I'm like why does the scale take so long for the numbers to actually change like nothing change <laughs> you know it's just so weird like I feel like I'm working out every day I'm being active I'm lifting I'm actually strength training too which is Usually not my thing. I'm usually just sticking like specifically to um, aerobics and cardio, but I'm stepping outside of that box and working on some of my problematic areas like my back, honey. That's where like all the rolls will be and I'm just like, I can't have this anymore. So I've been active. I just don't see the number on the scale changing. It's basically like where it was when I started. Maybe six pounds. I think I'm like six pounds down, but it's, I see the drastic change. Just a second. I see the 
significant changes in the way my clothes fit and how I feel and just how it looks. I see the difference. And my kids say they see they see it too. So it's been a number of hours since I picked up the camera because I don't know. The evening just got away. We came back. I did a little bit of a workout. Um, but the whole evening little man has been up so he just finally went down to take a nap and it's like 6:38. I just feel like such a grub today because I didn't fix myself. But I, like honestly, I got a lot of things that I wanted to get done. I went to Bree's appointment. I got to work out for like a good 40 minutes. I got to have a shower, took care of the little ones. Um, Zoe looks so cute. I don't think I showed you guys her. I'm gonna color her so you guys can see Zoe. Ooh, ooh. Yes, look at her hair, how cute it looks. It's all curly. Ooh, is that you? That's Let me see, better. turn around. Huh? That's butter. No, it's not butter, it's pineapples. We're gonna use it inside the recipe. <laughs> she looks adorable. And this top, she's outgrowing it. This is probably one of her last few times, the last few times that she could wear it because it's already becoming a crop top. It's a no for me when it comes to the little ones and crop tops, so, uh, yeah. Mom, yeah. you wish I want to, you wish you want me to, Stay little forever? <laughs> no, I know you have to grow up, but you are my little baby and I love you so much. Right? And you love to give mommy hugs and kisses. Unlike Zabby, who's just constantly like running away. So hey, hey fam, I'm not sure whether you guys are gonna see this, but I think it will be the next day after the vlog. It'll probably be included in the vlog, but I got a little mini Costco grocery haul and I decided to show it to you guys because it's been a while since we've done a haul. And um, yeah, so I'll show you real quick what we got. You guys know we've been picking up the organic milk as of late. We got 2% for the regular folks and we've got whole milk for the babies. Some pizza pops, bananas a little bruised. We got some bananas, grapes, raspberries, and blueberries. I haven't been buying a lot of blueberries as of late because honestly, sometimes they're super tart and I can't have them, but Mom. hopefully, hopefully these are better. We grabbed some haddock. Last time we actually had this, it was actually, it was really good. Everyone's just been going through this stuff <laughs> so quickly in our house. Bagels, muffins. This week we actually grabbed some shepherd's pie. Had me try to get this last time, but it wasn't available. I have not tried this before, so I don't know how this is gonna go, but it looks like, it feels pretty heavy, shepherd's pie, so obviously it's layered. You're not gonna need as much as you think you will, and this will definitely be enough to serve the family. Typical salad, avocados, Brussels sprouts, we have this. I bought two of these, and I had one left in my freezer, which is what I'm working through right now. These guys got this sushi roll. Just to end the vlog, I just wanted to let you know the total for the grocery haul was $250. Looking at it like this, doesn't look like a ton, but apparently it was $250. I don't know, we picked up double of a few things, but I don't know, $250? That's a lot. <laughs> Anyways guys, hope you enjoyed today's vlog. Thank you so much for tuning in, and um, don't forget to like today's video. Subscribe if you're new, as well as share the videos, and until next time.